Hi, my name is Lindsay Olson, and on behalf of my colleagues, I'll be presenting results from our recently published manuscript entitled Socioeconomic Factors Account for Language Ability in Preschoolers with Autism Spectrum Disorders. Although language impairments or delays are no longer required for a diagnosis of ASD, delays in language development are often the first indicator that a child may have autism. Overall, while language abilities really vary widely across the spectrum, most young children with ASD are at risk for some form of language delay or atypical use of pragmatic language, which can impede later academic performance, relationships, and quality of life. In typical development, language emergence and early language skills are associated with sociodemographic factors, including socioeconomic status, or SES. SES is a construct that really broadly characterizes a person's access to material and social resources. As a construct, SES encapsulates a great number of variables that often correlate with health. These include economic variables like income, qualities characteristic of one's neighborhood, access to quality education, nutrition, social support and stress, and access to quality health care. Although there's growing literature providing a compelling evidence for associations between SES and language development in early childhood, much less is known regarding how SES relates to language in young children with neurodevelopmental disorders such as ASD. However, it's been shown that in ASD, lower SES is associated with later age of diagnosis. And further, barriers to accessing healthcare associated with lower SES could also lead to reduced access to early intervention for young children with ASD from lower SES households. And children with ASD from lower SES households are also more likely to receive a diagnosis of comorbid intellectual disability than their mid to high SES peers. Our objective for this study was to examine receptive and expressive prelinguistic and language skills as they relate to socioeconomic variability in a diverse group of toddlers and preschoolers with and without autism. We hypothesized that socioeconomic variables would be positively associated with receptive and expressive language skills in children over and above the effect of autism diagnosis on language skills. Participants from our study were drawn from a larger study on early brain development in autism. Our sample included 62 children with ASD and 45 typically developing children, ages 15 to 64 months, from a diverse array of socioeconomic and ethnic backgrounds representative of the San Diego metro area. And here histograms show SES variables for our sample showing a wide distribution of maternal educational level, household income, and median income derived by postal code. We used multiple regression models with socioeconomic variables and diagnosis as explanatory variables and receptive and expressive language scores as separate outcome variables controlling for relevant covariates when necessary. And we found that SES variables were positively associated with language skills in preschool children with autism, even when controlling for the effect of autism diagnosis on language skills. These results highlight the importance of examining patterns of language development in children with ASD from low resource communities, as these children may benefit from uniquely tailored interventions that account for but also address life circumstances associated with low SES. And overall, our results also highlight the need to consider SES variables when conducting ASD research, as they are often overlooked or underreported. And we'd like to thank the participants and families who contributed to this research, fellow lab members, and our sources of funding support. And we encourage you to read our full paper published in the Journal of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics. Thank you.